BIM Level 2 practices on all of our projects, regardless of client requirements, and that's because we believe BIM is very important for us as an, in, as an industry, and not just the models and 3D models that we are delivering on all of our projects, but the data that's also attached to those projects that the clients can use at the end of their projects. Um, we also are using VR quite a bit now, something that sets us apart a little bit from some of the other practices, and that's great to show a client some of the designs. There's not a better way of looking at design than you can do in VR, so we think that's really important. And we're also looking at things like parametric design and machine learning, and how we can possibly automate some of the systems that we use to design buildings. Uh, we do actually have a um, system which is a VAR. In this case, we uh, put acoustics on it. So uh, rather than uh, it's mostly acoustics rather than visual. So if we can combine the two things, it would be a very good experience for a client, I would say. I was blown away by the, the virtual reality headset that you could actually put on and, and sort of walk around the um, the model that you guys have created. I. I mostly hook into the VR stuff because I, I really like the, um, the concept of um, 3D and moving forward into digital twinning, 4D technology to look at the way buildings are um, pulled together but also how you monitor the performance of buildings and can therefore shape and remodel the way buildings are, 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 are designed. I think VR is valuable as a selling tool and also VR when you apply it to the wider concept of BIM, which I call digital twinning, could become really valuable as a way of allowing people, users, stakeholders, designers, to experience an environment that's being designed while it's being designed, before it's being built. So you've got a chance to improve built environment assets before they are built at cost.